Let's get right to the stock exchange with Jacqueline Cow. So Top Club seemingly on course for another mm -hmm. record year. Right, the company reported record earnings for its financial year 2015. And if we look at how it performed in the latest quarter, the, its fiscal second quarter of its financial year 2016, it reported earnings of 104.6 million ringgit, an 86.5% increase from the corresponding period the year before. Now, this brings the company's cumulative first half for its financial year 2016 close to 233 million ringgit. And if we do the math, that already represents 83% of Top Glove's financial 2015 earnings. What are the factors driving this momentum? Another record here, potentially. I know. So basically, Top Glove says it's because of its ongoing improvements with a focus on enhancing quality, efficiency, and profit margins. And speaking about margins, lower raw materials also benefited the company with cost of latex and nitro dropping by an average of 5% and 7% respectively compared to the corresponding quarter the year before. Now, Top Glove's executive chairman Lim Wee Chai, he said that the company has successfully delivered strong results and strong volume growth in spite of an increasingly competitive environment. Now, in terms of sales volume, the company even surpassed the growth rate of 8 to 10 percent of global glove demand projected by the Glove Manufacturers Association. And the company has also been cautious about being too dependent on, uh, on a weak ringgit, which benefits exporters basically. Lim Wee Chai, he says that they have benefited from a strong US dollar for the last few quarters. However, they've always regarded this as a bonus and not something which they rely on, without which they are still able to deliver reasonably strong performance. Now, Top Club not one to rest on their laurels when it comes to that strong performance. What do they have in store then in the near term? Well, the company wants to continue to expand its operations in order to meet the increasing demand for rubber gloves, right? They've got factory plants underway, like Factory 27 in Port Dixon, which is expected to start production by this month. And in August, another factory, this time in Phuket, Thailand, is to start production. There's also a new facility which is planned for the start of production by February next year. That's in Klang. And with these new factories, it will bring the total number of the company's production lines to 540 and a total production capacity capacity to 52 billion gloves per annum. So that's the expansion plans. And two days ago, they also announced plans to list on the main board of the Singapore Stock Exchange. And this would help the company to build its investor reach and also expand its platform in future fundraising and also M&A activities. Because remember, Top Glove is aggressively pursuing M&A opportunities and is looking to seal a deal by August this year. So TikTok. So with that said, what's the outlook then for Top Glove? Well, they're expecting a challenging economic environment as competition remains intense, especially in the nitro glove segment, right? There's also a minimum wage hike that's expected to take effect um, in July this year, so that could weigh on the company's costs. But Top Glove remains optimistic, expecting its steady performance to continue supported by the resilient demand for gloves. And, you know, another record year on the cards for the company, we'll just have to wait and see. But as it, at this rate that it's going, it just seems possible. Possible. So when it comes to analyst call, a majority of analysts on the Bloomberg terminal that track this stock, as we see here, have a buy call on the stock. So plenty going for Top Club then, it would seem. Thank you so much to Jack and Car for the update there.